In these problems, we're looking at the various transformations that a geometric figure can undergo. Uh, things like translations, where you just kind of push it, uh, rotations, where it spins around a point, glide reflections, where you push it and then reflect it over some line, and plain old reflections. This first question says, this picture shows a blank of the flag, and they're looking for the name of the right um, transformation there. And in this case, the only way it's going to change orientation like that and move 90 degrees is going to be with a rotation. If you put your finger down right there and then pulled it up, spun it up here, rotated it around that origin, you would get uh, that shape. So this is a rotation. Let's look at the next one. This one says the change in position from the solid figure to the dotted figure is best described as a what? Well, in here, you should notice that they have the opposite orientation. They're like mirror images of each other. And that should tip you off that this is a reflection. Looks like it's a reflection right over the y-axis. Uh, so we would say reflection. One more. Again, we want to determine what is the transformation here. Uh, the change in position from the solid figure to the dotted figure is best described as what? So how could you get to that shape there? What would do it? So one thing to notice is that the orientation of these are, are opposite. They're mirror images of each other if they were reflected over the x-axis and then moved over. So let's say we moved this one over here so it looked like this. I can do this right. And then reflected it over that line. So this is actually what we would call a glide reflection because it's been translated and then reflected. So that's a little bit of work with transformations.